This Thursday night football props edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get fifty percent off your first month and start making smarter bets today. We're also brought to you by the SGPN app. The SGPN app is completely free to download and home to all your favorite SGPN podcasts, contests, and picks. Just type SGPN in your app store today to download America's number one DGen app. Hey, this is John Smoltz, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Well, hello, Sean. What's happening? Well, you know, football season's pretty electric. <laughs> no pun intended. I got a, a uh, little now, review. Now you're now you're all in because of Tommy DeVito. Huh? Oh, the pun was on the bolts. You know, electric oh, electricity. Okay. Yes. The Chargers. And I have, I, there will be a costume change later. I'm going to really hopefully get our guest excited. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause we have a great Thursday night matchup. Easton stick Aiden O'Connell in Las Vegas. Uh, going to be a good time. We got a lot to get to. We got some props first touchdown bets, some ladders, D gen only bets. And uh, before we get to that, uh, we got a shout out to little C's. If you haven't gotten some Little Caesars and enjoyed uh, some pizza and some football at the same time, what are you waiting for? Little Caesars is the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. Make Little Caesars part of your game day. Love pizza, love pretzels, and that's why I love a pizza, pizza, pretzel pregame one hour before and three hours after NFL kicks. Plus, all day Sunday, get you some of that goldeny, buttery brown pretzel crust pizza with some salt sprinkles on top. Choose your favorite little Caesars pizza to pick the toppings you crave. Either way you win and you can get it delivered or in store with the pizza portal. Pickup. grab some friends, enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesars pizza, pizza joining us on the line. He's always hot, always ready and always fired up about your Los Angeles chargers. Mr. <laughs> Justin Decker. What's up Decker. What's up guys. Well, you're right about me being fired up. I don't know about in a good way, but Hey, I'm bringing it. I'm fired up. You know what I mean? Let I'm me already sure, yeah, kind of getting ready for college basketball, but you know, yeah, we can but, still oh, bet. Diego, That's the great Diego thing about State. football. You can always bet. <laughs> uh Oh, I'm Ryan's sure standing up. He's got a big what? reveal. What? We got a wardrobe change. Ryan's taking his hoodie off. Did you get a Herbert jersey? <laughs> no, close though. <laughs> Ryan is showing his support here. It's like uh, it's uh, the oh, yeah. going. So now's the time. I'm Great in, time. Decker. Great time. I'm in. Uh, well, now that I'm it. feeling so good about myself, I wanted to share some of the positive. I feel great about the future of my team karma for you. No, that no, that's no. true though. That is true that you should feel good about the future. You know what I mean? As long as I get rid of the coach, how many, they're the only <laughs> franchise in history that have had like 12 coaches over the last 20 years and three quarterbacks. When does that happen? <laughs> uh, I was actually talking it's like about the, the opposite Giants, of but... the Steelers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Usually it's usually it's a uh, head coach and quarterback turnover. For some reason for the chargers, it's just been coaches turnover. Cause they've had some pretty stable quarterbacks. Now, yeah. of course, unfortunate news to bring you on Decker. Oh, no. uh, Herbie, mm. Herbie fully loaded. AKA Justin Herbert is out for the season. My yeah. thoughts and prayers go out to you immediately. I thought, Oh no, this is not good for Justin Decker's over rushing yards. For <laughs> Justin Herbert. And, and we almost had it in 12 games somehow. <laughs> like we almost had it in 12 games that that one sucked that I felt so good about that one. And he hasn't been injured too. So you couldn't blame it on that. He's, he's he hasn't missed a game in his career. Yeah, he was playing through the other uh, broken yeah. finger, but now 
Man. broken finger on your throwing uh, hand, ultimately too much to shut it down. Yeah. Uh, Decker, you've been pounding the table physically and um, <laughs> physically and, and also yes. just co pounding for the table metaphorically for the firing of Brandon Staley. Can you, yeah. we're, we have a platform here. Can you make your case to chargers ownership to the Spanos family to please fire Brandon Staley? I mean, are we, I think we're past that point. I want to make a case for Tom Telesco to get fired oh, at this wow. point, but, but, but the, the GM, but I mean, Staley, I, I was trying to think of like bad coaches, like if there's been a worse coach yeah. and it's kind of weird because bad coaches kind of fade from your memory. Like I can't think of too many in the nineties and recently it's Josh McDaniels Ray and he just Hanley. ruined that. Raiders <laughs> franchise, maybe like who was Bobby Petrino that just quit on the team? The, the yeah. Falcons. That was that was certainly a rough one. Yeah, although he may come back, but I don't know that I cannot think of a person who's wasted more talent. <laughs> yeah, than yeah, Staley. Mean, well, and and that's why. Can I take that a step further? Sure. Yeah. I would go as far to say that the man responsible for the most frauds in the NFL is Vic Fangio. Mm. Which one of his disciples? That everyone hired because they all want this fucking too high look. None of them worked out. Well, and that's interesting None too because them. I mean, you look at the the Chargers. Sure, the offense has issues, but really, it's that defense, like especially that belly, that middle of the defense. Why does and that happen? Why is it when a coach who was a great coordinator, at least they had had enough success as a coordinator to get a head coaching job? Why is it those coaches always end up? being horrible at the thing they were hired for <laughs> at, like think think of oh, Tony Dungy he was a defensive yeah. coach he had fucking Peyton Manning and a horrible defense i mean you can go down the list uh, on and on and on i mean Brian Dable this year comes to mind uh <laughs> defense carrying the load i i, I don't understand it staley I, I don't understand i mean it could be a combination of the decision making between the gm and staley but clearly they don't know where they're going they're trying to play derwin james a linebacker I just don't think he, they. At some point, you just need to need the guts to to get rid of your guys who are washed, like yeah, Kendricks, yeah. and give up on a guy. Put your ego aside and get rid of Murray. He didn't work out. I mean, how many guys can you get off the street who were, at bare minimum, can at, at least be better than those two guys? And they got rid of Tranquil, who you didn't. You know, I thought he was okay player for the Chargers. He goes to the Chiefs. Yeah. Now look at their defense. Yeah, and, and look at so clearly um, it's it's got to be scheme, right? Yeah, two years ago when Joku left, yeah. and I just thought he was an average player. I thought he was undersized. I was like, the Chargers do need more size. Goes to Seattle, star player. There's a <laughs> scheme that's horrible. I don't know if he needs to dumb it down, but all, ultimately it's just toughness, and he just can't get rid of the guys that he needs to get rid of. No, and no, drafting the wrong pieces. Now you you mentioned draft, and we've shared with the audience your uh, theory to fix the Chargers is to draft uh, seven linebackers, <laughs> one in each round. Has with anyone ever done it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, it, it does seem <laughs> like that. Shoot your shot if you like the rest work. of the team. Yeah, to yeah. only you only have to hit on two, right? Yeah, and I like and that's the what odds. the Chargers usually hit on two in the draft. This time it was. Tui Apalopu. I still, I swear yeah. to God, I can't say his name, uh, but I will. And uh, they're Darius Davis. They had two draft picks. First draft pick, Quentin Johnson, just not the guy. I mean, <laughs> he's the, how many receivers have been drafted? Every single one of them in the first and second round was good, except for our one guy. <laughs> Although he did have, uh, he did have a couple catches when Easton Stick came in. Do you think there's any? Any hope for saving, uh, saving uh, Quentin Johnson? I n not from what I'm seeing, the body language and the toughness. But that brings me <laughs> to a great point. I don't know if we're jumping ahead a little bit. No, but I no. Do, do like him in this game. Oh. I'll tell you why. Easton Stick was impressive in the preseason throwing to Johnson. Clearly, that was they were trying to set him up and prepare him for the season. Obviously, but he had. His high for yardage on the year, 93 yards. Um, longest reception. Easton Stick is going to get it to him. And Tom Telesco is trying to save his job, too. And yeah, he so wants you, to prove that his number one pick is not a huge mistake, which it looks like now. So, so yeah, I, he would right. be a dark horse for first touchdown, honestly. I, I mean, I, I know I've been talking shit about him. He's going to drop a pass. 
He can only run, <laughs> you know, those wide receiver screens and the deep ball, but he would be the dark horse for uh first touchdown. No, I agree because if you're if you're looking to save your job, having your first round pick make a little bit of a run here in these last four games, he already has chemistry with Easton Sick. And I'm sure Brandon Staley's probably thinking the same thing. Like, I gotta show some progress at the end of this season to keep my job. You what think better he has any thought of keeping I, I, his I don't, job? <laughs> I don't think he there's no chance at this point. There has yeah. to be no chance. So I don't know what his goals are moving forward. <laughs> if he's trying to get a get his res- resume ready for I, ball state or whatever. I would uh, say this. wherever he's going to go. But we, yeah, we made a lot of commentary around the idea that the chargers upgraded their offensive coordinator massively. Uh, meanwhile, chargers now not a great offense, definitely not getting all the juice out of the fruit. Uh, Cowboys seem to have taken taken a massive step forward in the offensive department going to Brian Schottenheimer. Yeah. Is it possible that we we're dealing with Kellen Moore being a little fraudulent? Yeah. What's your, why isn't Kellen Moore worked out better? You think Decker? Yeah. I'm not sure because it, it could just be a weakness that I didn't think of with Herbert that he just does. Yeah. In fact, there is a weakness to his game where he does check <laughs> down too much, honestly, because it, the, his yards per um, attempt was up. So Kellen Moore was doing his job. He's getting it less check downs to Eckler. Um, I think it's just it could just be the last three games, and it's not a full sample size. I'm not sure it's Kel- Kellen Moore. These last two games, the last game was horrible in protecting him and not adjusting quick enough. But y- you know, the early part of the season was good given the in- injuries. I'm not sure that I would blame it all on Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore last year was a different situation because they had uh, in Dallas they had um, Ezekiel and Pollard. And now look at what Pollard's doing just by himself. It, like it was a combination of those two guys. Like he he did do a good job in Dallas. Schottenheimer's doing a better job, but also he didn't have. I mean, Cooks is really coming on. Anyway, about the Chargers, I think Kellen Moore is decent. It's just we will see. I guess a lot of excuses being made for <laughs> Kellen Moore. Yeah, there. but he's the I, only guy. Will I mean everybody you, else? You know. Yeah. Do you think? Do you want? Uh, who do you want as your head coach? I know when I asked you this, I think on Sunday you said anyone but Staley. But is oh, there Bill Belichick is this? Bill Belichick, Decker is thrown out. I've been out. thinking it- that, but why not? I mean, he wants to prove that he can win without Brady, and it's just not going to happen here. But look at his defense. I yeah. mean, he does it with these no names. He goes and snipes our highest cor- paid corner in the middle of the season, and now J.C. Jackson's playing well when he sucked. <laughs> playing under Staley and he took him in the middle of the season. I mean, hopefully we'll get Belichick. He'll bring back JC Jackson. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? He <laughs> brings bring back, back JC Jackson Hunter he Henry. Well, and then he brings back Hunter Henry. <laughs> you, uh, you know what and, I've heard and make him GM too. Well, like, why not? It would be hard for chargers fans, but most of the chargers from San Diego has left and he's broken our hearts so much, but why not look yeah, at the well, talent I... that he has to work with. That's what he's known for, and he gets to sell a chance to prove that he can do it without Tom Brady, Justin Herbert. I mean, why it, not? It, it, Is that it works crazy? for no it, it, more reasons. One, I think if anything, it's a it's. I think there's no chance a single player could draw intrigue to allow a, a old Chargers fan to kind of peek their eye back. But I think hiring Bill Belichick actually could resonate with the fan base. I actually think. Also, hiring Bill Belichick as the coach and GM will save the cheap owner money. Yes, and, and, and what the fans don't want to do is they're cheap. <laughs> well, yeah. and the now other you thing get two t- for one. <laughs> the other thing, if Bill Belichick doesn't go back to the Patriots, you would imagine there's going to be a bunch of teams courting him. And if you're a Belichick, the idea you you always want to go to a, a team with a good quarterback situation yep. and. As far as coaches that are getting fired, who has a better quarterback situation than the Chargers, right? Like, because every other coach that's going to get fired, their yeah, quarterback no also sucks. How many co- coaches are being fired shortly after the quarterback just uh, dr- secured a record-setting bag? <laughs> it's it's pretty it's not rare. very often, and that goes yeah. back to Decker's point of they have the same quarterbacks. The quarterbacks are a stable part of the chargers. It's just the coaches around. Yeah. Usually the quarterback gets the bag and the coach has already gotten the bag or is about to get the bag. All right, let's get into yeah. the props before we do that. Shout out to prize picks. Oh, Ryan, love me some prize picks. 
Uh, Price picks is awesome. Well, one, you can do the uh, cross sport combos. So you can toss in LeBron James and Travis Kelsey at a 10 and a half three pointers made and receptions. I, I love how creative uh, they get with some of these projections. Very easy. You just go higher, lower on some of your favorite fantasy projections. We got uh, tons of NFL. You got college basketball in there, NBA, college football. Great for a bowl season as well. You can play alongside some of your favorite. Uh, celebrity prize pickers like uh, rapper Meek Mill, comedian Andrew Schultz. Uh, they got community plays tabs. We're giving out a, a ton of plays all the time, and they offer a reboot policy. So again, um, your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured for football and basketball. You have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second. That player is rebooted. Prize Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. Uh, again, love playing prize picks. So fun uh, putting together some lineups. Ryan and I, I'm sure we'll be giving out one on the NFL picks show, but again, uh, go to prizepicks.com slash SGPN and use code SGPN for a first deposit match up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash SGPN code SGPN prize picks daily fantasy sports made easy. Decker, you well, are real quick. Yes. And we're we're going to give you winners. Unlike, uh, unlike that loser Trent. I okay. see him dropping those prize pick <laughs> losers. I mean, he's the fade god, right? I yeah, I don't understand that. They're parlays. <laughs> like being a fade god in, in a parlay is like being that the house on a craps table. Loser. Yes. Loser. Oh, you want to bet that don't pass because you think you're sharper? <laughs> you idiot. You idiot. Loser. Uh, sorry. Decker. Winner. You, you are winner. Our winner. guest on the show. <laughs> You got a, uh, you, you got it. What's your first prop here? You like? Well, I guess so. Yeah, for player props, I want to save my my solid picks that I want to get you on the on the DGN parlor. Oh, all right, but this, the right. ones that I like, <laughs> I like this. I like this. <laughs> well, give, give right. us your first prop. <laughs> give us give us your first appetizer prop. Oh yeah, uh, Josh Jacobs. I know he has, he's injured right now with the, but I only see a quad injury. I know he didn't get a lot of carries, but I mean, that's just, that's the safest one. He's gotten like 25 carries only three times this year, but I expect more than that. And especially with the three point spread, the chargers simply don't have the personnel to stop a tough runner like that. They just, <laughs> they don't. And a lot of people get tricked by this because the chargers give up a lot of yards throwing, but usually that's because in a shootout and there's just holes everywhere to be honest with you. But I mean, I expect 25 carries and in oh, the, wow. in the first game he had eight catches. So you might want to go with that, but I'm, I'm kind of in on Josh Jacobs. It, it'd be interesting to check in tomorrow to see that injury, but to be honest, his backups, I don't know who they would split the carries with Abdullah or white. So it's kind of tough to say, but Josh Jacobs right now, uh, that's kind of my, my, my first pick I'd throw out. Yeah. The Abdullah White thing's interesting because it was definitely Abdullah when McDaniels was here. And uh, I think, you know, the at some point you want to see what you got out of the rookie. And so I'll be curious yeah, to see uh, how true. they deploy him. Uh for yeah. me, I'm going uh I, I think the how you beat the Chargers, you attack the middle of the field, you take advantage of their lack of linebackers. Yes. Michael Mayer the tight end for the uh, the uh, Las Vegas Raiders has been coming on as of late. Uh, I'm going to take his over 19 and a half receiving yards. To Decker's point, the middle of the field is pretty open. He had 27 against Kansas City, 46 against the Miami Dolphins. I, I don't think the Chargers are exploitable as much on the outside, but the middle of the field feels like a tough guard right That's now right. for this Chargers team. So I I like Michael Mayer. 19 and a half feels pretty low. That's right. Yeah. All right. So th these, I, I came to the table with, again, I, 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 I accidentally uh, looked uh, through the, the glass a little differently last week. Mm. And now I'm, I'm, I'm so far away from player props. It's scary. This stood out to me, both teams to score a rushing touchdown in the Ooh. game. Okay. Sean, wow, what would you man. think the price would be on this bad boy? Uh, with chargers run defense is involved in the game. Yeah. So you like your chances there. Raiders run defense also involved in the game. Not great. Uh, I would go plus one fifty. Plus one eighty. Wow. Both teams to score a rushing touchdown. That's my Ooh. first one. You have Aiden O'Connell versus Easton Stick. What the fuck? Do, what What are we doing here? Josh Kelly looks electric. Looks like Austin Eckler might be time to send him up to the farm. 
and put a couple on the back of his heads, bring some pennies so he can pay the toll or whatever. Uh, and and on the other side, like you mentioned, I, I think whether it's but right now, so interesting note on Jacobs, the beat reporters seem a little confused because it was a knee injury on the weekend and now it's mm. listed as a quad injury. So I don't know if that makes you feel better or worse. I tend to think that he's going to show up and play, but I not a ton of confidence. So if it is someone else, uh, we've been waiting for that Samir white game. I'd be very interested in his props. If we end up finding out that Jacobs is going to be limited, uh, but to Decker's point, how do you not hand the ball off a million times in this game? So yeah, plus one eighty, both teams to score rushing touchdowns. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. Nice. Uh, that, that and especially getting those plus odds, I'm on board. Uh, Decker, how say you? What's your what's your next prop you like here? No, yeah, that's a good one too. Especially I was going to say since Easton Stick actually is a runner, like in the, in oh, the preseason, I couldn't shh, shh, find shh. stats, but uh, yeah, look out, stay look tuned, out for Decker. that. Stay tuned. North Dakota State, yeah, behind uh, what's his name, Wentz. Uh, anyway, uh, another one. I know, um, we, you know, we've been talking about Austin Eckler and how there's been rumors he's going to get less carries. We have to see what other running backs are. But if you look at his snap count, I mean, he still played. He, he had overwhelming amount of snaps. And Josh Kelly went down. Interesting, um, interesting enough to um, uh, Spiller. So this could be another thing where uh, Spiller had a season high last week of snaps and carries that Tom Telesco may want to see what he has since he's been horrible <laughs> at blocking and picking up assignments. Um, but that being said, I still like Eckler over catches because they're yeah. going to need to protect the right side with Crosby more on him later as well. Um, but I expect a lot of dump offs and catches for Eckler. I think his rushing is at 50. I will go under um, catches with Eckler. Um, I would go over. So um, over on the receptions, yeah, I I saw some of the receiving yard stuff. I'm with you. I think, I think. Uh, what would you rather play, Decker? Mm. Would you rather play Eckler to have a bunch of receptions or Eckler to have a bunch of receiving yards? I love this conversation. Receptions. Okay. Receptions. Right. It's because of Mac, Max Crosby. Max Crosby lines up on the left. That's his favorite spot, and that is the Chargers' weakness. Every Raiders game against Crosby. Crosby's dominated and Sean, you'll remember when you were watching the Broncos game uh, on Sunday. Yes. To those two blindside uh, sacks where Easton was just not aware. He, you know, he hasn't played a regular season game. He's played one in three and a half years. It's only been preseason for him. And he, there was two, he had two fumbles on blindside blocks. That's where Max Crosby is. That's where the O-line weaknesses for the chargers, Micah Parsons earlier this year dominated because he's on the left side of the line. Yeah. Uh, Chris Jones for the chiefs always dominates on the inside and left side. So, <laughs> uh, you know, they're going to be helping chipping. And I, I expect a little more of those dump offs to uh, yeah, it, catches. He had, not he necessarily had, yards. Yeah. He had seven catches. So I think I, and I, I haven't seen the prices yet for the receptions, but I think uh, Eckler to have like ten catches. Um, stay tuned for my ladder, but I I think I'm going to mm. go uh, Eckler receptions ladder because I, I imagine he's just going to get a ton of work. Uh, That's for, a nice angle, Sean. For me, uh, Decker, I know you said, uh, well, the, the Chargers they lead the league in most passing yards allowed to the quarterback position. Aiden O'Connell, I think, is he's not I like amazing. how you qualified with the quarterback position. Yeah, he's not amazing. <laughs> in case you got a couple, sometimes there's some. Uh, <laughs> Over 207 and a half passing yards for Aiden O'Connell at home in a dome against this defense. That feels just way too low. It Did you I, say 207? 207. Yeah, um, I saw it somewhere at 210. Maybe it's going up, but uh it does it is low. He had 238 his first game ever. That was against the Chargers, was his first yeah. game, his first start ever, and that was against the Chargers. And I just feel like there's gonna be a lot of yards in this game and a low score. It's just gonna be one of those games. There's just going to be chunk yardage and one of those weird games, but yeah, he could totally get that. It is too low. The, Absolutely. uh, the shark, the, the sharks over at prize picks have this at two Oh nine and a half. Oh, okay. Nice. Mm. They know, they know where it's going. <laughs> Kramer. What do you got props wise? So, um, kicker prop. Ooh. Okay. Just want to warn people, pull, maybe pull your car over. If you're going to get angry at us, Dicker, the kicker, 
over one and a half field goals. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I do. I kind of, I look at this matchup and I don't, I don't know necessarily if this is just, I kind of think this is a sneaky game. That's going to have a lot of yardage. I think both teams play a style of defense that in theory allows you to gain yards, but eventually they will exactly, they will, they will bow up or that's they're supposed exactly to at right. least. Patrick Graham probably runs a more sophisticated version of what Staley runs, but both teams are going to allow you to matriculate the ball down the field. I think field goal props in general in this game are interesting. Hmm. Um, so I grabbed Dicker, the kicker, because I don't like that kid on on Vegas. That Carlson family is there's something evil about him. <laughs> Maybe witches. I haven't figured it out. Or Wiccan or whatever a male witch is. Uh, you look at those eyes. No You're wizard? telling me those guys. I'm an eye analyst when it comes to these football players. Of course, I pioneered the K metric. Yes. Which is uh, you know, it comes in and out of be looking really good with uh with Josh <laughs> Allen. Uh also Justin Fields fighting back against the K metric, but I would say uh, maybe I need to create a kicking metric for guys who just have crazy ass eyes. Uh, yeah, you, and think the, if, you think if your eyes are that crazy, it would be tough to kick. Also, we need to start keeping a stat on the sports gambling podcast on camera n- decap nose beers ripped by kickers. We caught uh, we caught Ooh. the Saints kicker. Yeah, on oh Sunday God. taking a massive massive like, rip off the the smelling salts. Uh, <laughs> oh, kicking yeah. would be like the last thing I would I, I I if I'm like running down to cover a kickoff I want some smelling salts because I want to run through a wall. But if I'm actually kicking I feel like that would backfire because your adrenaline you're like you're you're so amped up. No, I think what maybe what, it's a focus I thing. What, I don't know. Like to me kicking a field goal is like swinging a golf club. I, the last thing I want is like a smelling salt so right before. Why would a, a Yeah, smell. that's a hook for me. Smelling salt hook. <laughs> yeah. Why would why would yeah, I mean I think it's more that it is it, it's also something that you might find someone in like a uh a, a, a military situation where you're really just trying to wake your you're trying to wake up everything. Mm. So I think oh, rather senses. Yeah, I don't think it necessarily gives you like a or jittery like caffeine. It's more like, "Ooh, all right, I'm like I'm I'm good to go." And I get, I mean, we should really get one of these kickers on and ask him, like yeah. Matt Prater, like, is this purely because you need to, you need to get all the juice through your leg, and that's that's how you wake <laughs> your ass up, or are you just an addict to decaf nose beers? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I probably would, the latter. I, I would be like, I would rather have a shot of whiskey than like uh, in, do with smelling salts. But we gotta, we gotta bring the smelling salts back, right? We did them once. Well, what? On they were removed from the show because it was bad. Something bad happened. Well, yeah, I think we went like three and eleven that week, so we stopped doing them. But yeah, uh, let's get them back in the office. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just a little. Uh, let's do a fr- maybe that's how we start off the the, the Friday show. All right, just a uh, or Thursday show. Oh yeah, Veasan show. That would be great in Vegas. <laughs> do you think they smelling salts? Think they'd have a problem if we pop some smelling. I salts think on? I think Derek would be cool uh, if we were cracking funny. some smelling salts going in the into Veasan the studio. Going into the third hour, we just opened the. Open. All right, now we're ready. Let's talk player props. Decker, uh, speaking Poppin of the- picks, what's the segment called? Come on, we can figure something out. Decker, what do you got? What's your uh, what's your third prop here? Uh, I, I got both quarterbacks going over yardage. Ooh. Easton okay. Stick is at uh, somewhere it was two hundred. You know, he almost had it in. Uh, he almost had two hundred in uh, two and a half quarters. Um, yeah, I mean, he he looks good. He kind of looks like Browning as, as far as his build. His arm is okay. I've seen a lot of them in preseason. It, it, it's just going to be awareness. Like I said, those blindside sacks. I mean, he could get he could get sacked seven times, eight times, but still get a lot of yards. The yardage is going to look surprising at the end of this game, like Kramer said. Uh, there's going to be a lot of yards, but I am taking the under on the game. So it's, it's going to be one of those weird games, but both quarterbacks over. I mean, in a year where we're seeing some of these backup quarterbacks given an opportunity show at, at minimum short bursts of ability. I mean, this is a kid who won four national championships yeah. at the division, like at the FCS and he, level. And he played in a dome. Now he's, he's been on the dome. charges for four years. I, now, yeah, he got so. yeah. Dra- drafted and, a while ago, fifth rounder that they haven't gotten rid of, which tells you they like him as the backup. They like him. He clearly is going to understand what to do out there. And if anything, that's usually the part that sucks. And oh, by the way, we probably do. We know what he looks like with a week of practice. No. And so you know, no, it's, he's making his first career start, but to uh, Decker's point, he was drafted in 2020. So he's been in 2019. The oh, 2019. You're right. 
He only had one career uh, passing attempt before uh, this past weekend. So it's not like he's completely uh, new. And we've seen guys that come in that have set the bench for a while come in and have good starts. So we'll see. But I, I'm yeah. optimistic on Easton Stick and and Aiden O'Connell. I think. I, I mean, I know you were saying Decker a lot of yards, maybe not a lot of points. I kind of think there could be some points. I like this prop. Both teams to score 19 and a half points. Ryan, what do you think that's priced at? Both teams to score 19. I don't so like that one. I'm the opposite. <laughs> both <laughs> team, both teams get to 20. It's big odds though. Or both bigger. teams get to 20. Yeah. Do you want me to really guess? Yes, really right, guess. 450. 450. You nailed it, Ryan. Wow. Sharp. Well, I'm, just, I'm just doing some calculations in my head. And Decker, did you say you took the other side, which is neither team gets to 20? Oh, yeah. You don't need to make this complicated. Look, the last three games for both teams, <laughs> Chargers have scored 23 points total, uh, yeah. Vegas 30 points total. And their defense is getting – you know, the Chargers' defense has been decent. It was kind of like last year where – they were so horrible, not knowing where they're going, but he, they did finish strong. It only takes uh, Staley like 11 games to get in the swing of things <laughs> and uh, show right, their Decker's, true talent. Decker, so Decker's, under talk, Decker's talking me. Uh, De Decker's talking me out of it. I'll go. I'll go. I'll just go with the Quentin Johnson over receiving yards. His yards number isn't out yet, but the fact that like Easton Stick had that deep ball going to him, all he needs is one. It's, just, what do you yeah. think is? What do you think his yard is just going to be set at, Ryan? Like twenty-two and a half or something? Rushing? No, no. Uh, Quentin Johnson Quentin. Oh, receiving oh, yards. Receive, oh, yeah. I was thinking like, yeah, I was thinking of, you know twenty-six to twenty-nine, something like that. But like high twenties, probably. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm gonna. I I know. I have a way of uh, determining this. I can tell. All right. So in in the past, <sighs> what was he? Yeah, what was he going into the Broncos? He did have three catches for ninety-one yards. I'm looking. I'm looking. And before that, even though that was an ugly game, he did have five for fifty-two. Uh, granted, he has these ugly drops that make you really enraged, but Oof. it'll probably actually have to be in the thirties. I don't think they can post it in the twenties. Yeah, that's a good point. I am not. All right, so we'll we'll get yeah, back. I, I'll I'll find it. Um, I do think that it's worth noting that ja, uh Palmer is back at practice. And by all the reporting, he was healthy enough to maybe play last week. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what you take out of that, but so yeah, uh, that's tough. I, I don't know if he'll be that effective. I haven't seen much on that, to be honest with you. All right, so yeah. Quentin Johnston, um, twenty-seven and a half last week, eighteen and a half the week before that, thir twenty-three and a half before that, and thirty-eight and a half. So high of thirty-eight and a half, low of eighteen and a half over the past. So, so probably thirty-eight and a half, we'll say. You think it will go on the high end? I think so because he had he had his career with high. Palmer coming back. I don't think okay. so. I'll say split the difference and say twenty eight and a half. Twenty eight, which half. is a yard up from last week. Maybe right. maybe twenty nine and a half. Yeah, they're not going to go crazy. I don't think. I like it. Give me give me QJ. over either way. Over. over either Let's way. go. Is this is a chemistry play. Yeah, they definitely <laughs> had chemistry and yeah, and they did in Decker, the preseason. Decker, yeah, I didn't see. Uh, or I don't recall the preseason, but yeah, well, it's been multiple preseasons, Sean. They they all blend together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I won't hold it against you. All right, so I I think when they release the Easton Stick rushing props, oh yes, you certainly mm. want to get involved yes. in them. I, yes. I think one of the the one of the simple things I could teach you, uh, listener, is that when you're when you're handicapping these backup quarterbacks, just be real basic about it go over to sports reference or whatever you use to look up college stats and just look up their stats. How many times did they carry the ball? Like were the, was it meaningful? Was it part of the offense or was it just some bullshit that happened from time to time? He quarterbacked a national championship, North Dakota state team. And he had 85, 113, 112 and 117 carries in those four years. He averaged 4.9 yards a carry. 41 touchdowns. This is a part of the 41 offense. touchdowns is definitely worth. He knowing. rushed for 2,500 yards in college over yeah. 427 carries over four years. And it was spread out evenly across those four years. His last year, 17 touchdowns. I certainly think that his running his legs being part of the offense though, there's going to be a little shift there. I don't think they're going to have challenge him to make tough throws. Maybe having Palmer back allows uh 
Quinton Johnson to operate over the middle of the field, the area that uh, Patrick Graham will let you. So I say all of that to say Easton sticks, no interception is a ridiculous plus one thirty. Mm. I'm t- I'm I'm taking that because I don't think he's going to be putting the ball in harm's way. I I watched Patrick Graham have a fucking defense for the Giants for years. They didn't get a lot of interceptions because they sit back, they sit back, and no one you're not going to challenge it because it's that too high. You're going to go underneath stuff. So unless something crazy happens, it is the Chargers. So I'm I'm sure this will happen with a tipped ball off a helmet or something. I'm going Easton Stick under a half interception. Plus mm. one thirty. Yeah, I think if he does turn it over, uh, fumbling would be my guess. Uh, yeah, I, but yeah, because yeah, a couple uh, fumbles, to, like seven sacks. Have, that's the game I'm looking at. Yeah, but maybe, have, maybe like forty rushing yards. I mean, yeah, the guy's yeah. pretty fast too. Oh. He's not just uh, you know, yeah, he's you, pretty fast. There, yeah, you're there when when they when when the when the books are um, brave enough to put that game out. <laughs> To put those rushing props out, I will be all over it. Yeah, yeah all I over c- it. Couldn't find anything. I mean, it's just too no. Hard they're, to they're not but... out yet. They're not out yet because they're, they're cowards. Um, <laughs> all right, so those are my three, Sean. All right. Well, we got uh, we got some ladder chatter coming up. First touchdown bets and our DGEN's only parlay. Before we get to to that, a uh, friendly reminder: this show is brought to you by Better Help. That's right, Better Help. It's the holiday season. Uh, super stressful time. Time to give yourself the gift of uh, yeah, feeling a little better, talking to someone. Again, it's so easy for you know, dealing with the in-laws, the stress of Christmas, or you know, buying gifts, um, holiday parties. There's a lot of like sh- super stressful moments. Where, like, oh, I got to do this here, uh, and and talking it out with someone can really, really be of help. Um, again, you know, talk therapy. It's very easy, very simple, and especially. Uh, Better help. Like if if you've been on the fence about therapy, a lot of the reasons maybe that you didn't want to do it of like, oh, you got to drive across town and go, you know, hang out in some office building. Better help makes it super convenient. Um, that's why you should give. Uh, if you're thinking about therapy, Better Help is the way to get started. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule. Fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. In the season of giving. Give yourself what you need with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash SGPN today to get 10% off your first month. That's B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash S G P N. Better help. Kramer, what do we got? Uh, do we start with the. Uh, well, Decker, do you have do you have any ladders? I'm breaking out the ladder. Shout out to Boston Capper, a uh, former firefighter who explained to us the giant fire truck ladder is called the stick. I mean, Era, get the stick. If you don't have a stick on Easton stick this Easton Thursday stick. night, how can you Easton get the stick? Uh, smash the Easton stick rushing yards. I'm sure Kramer's also on it. I got two ladders Austin Eckler receptions, Easton stick rushing yards. Cannot wait to save multiple cats out of multiple buildings. Give me those two ladders, Decker. What do you got? How do I? Can you do a ladder with Max Crosby sacks? You can. Is that possible? Yes. So that would be like a. <laughs> that would probably be a step ladder. You're looking to, uh, you know, so yeah, what you, what put the you, elf on the shelf, change a change a battery in the smoke detector. You can probably get up to three steps. Bet, so Bet Online offers, and a couple other of the offshores offer a one, two, three option. So one oh, or more, nice. two or more, three or more. For a guy like Max oh, Crosby, yeah, I would say you're going to be playing, paying something like in this matchup. I'd say you're probably paying for a mobile guy who might get skittish. Your one is probably minus one fifty. Two is probably four to one. Three is probably eleven to one. Yeah, you're getting over ten to one. I bet with uh three. Sacks. But it's still He'll a get great his season bet. high. What's the highest a, a sack total has ever been? I'm not usually a guy who bets on. S- Sacks, but what's the highest it could ever go? Like one point two five, like so t- the over under. No, yeah, I mean typically they'll just stop at uh, three quarters of a sack and just juice, juice it to the yeah. moon. Oh, dude, like that, Mike, I, Mike, I, yeah, yeah Micah Parsons over. against the Giants with no Andrew Thomas, for example, he was probably going off at minus two fifty. Yeah, minus two fifty over like three quarters of a sack. But I, I like your sack ladder. Um, great sack there. That's, he knows his team. <laughs> yes, he knows yeah. his team. That's why we have yeah, fans yeah. on of of these teams. They can 
they know the weaknesses. They've been watching every single minute, and they can get little nuts. That's the biggest feedback we've gotten. Less, uh, <laughs> less people that know uh, are experts in gambling. More people who are experts in a team. Yeah, because they give you they give you those uh, that inside info. So Kramer, I may have stolen yours with the Eckler receptions and Easton Stick rush yards. I was gonna go receptions, but then I remembered Stick Easton get the stick. I I had to get to it. What do you uh, What do you got for ladder stuff, Ryan? Well, I, I think I would I would co-sign your ladder. I certainly think I'm not a big showdown guy in DFS lately, but I do think this game appeals to me because the idea that Easton Stick has this amazing game it, it certainly is the season for that, and the and the formula for him to do it makes a lot of sense. Well, and, and in prime time, there's there's a couple times where quarterbacks like to run the ball more than normal primetime games, playoff games. We saw with Tommy DeVito last night, he's a young guy with nothing to lose as a big uh, showcase spot. You're back there. You might not know the entire offense. Maybe you only know the first uh, read or two, and then you're like, oh shit, Max Crosby. Or maybe you know all the reads, and then you roll out and hit <laughs> Isaiah Hodgins <laughs> in the back of the end zone with an NFL throw. I, I mean, Devito ran for seventy yards. I, he I, also made a bunch of NFL throws. He did. I'm very excited. And they didn't really get Easton Stick out of the pocket last game. They kind of had. They still had yeah. the Justin Herbert game plan. He, they got to get him run him out of the pocket. But have a game plan like that. Oh, I think like they're gonna DeVito. have some. Yeah, I think they're gonna have some design runs for Easton Stick, uh, some read option stuff, a lot of bootleg stuff. Like that's what you do with the young quarterback, and especially one as mobile as Easton Stick. And if you looked at the game log from the uh, from the uh, from the the game against the Broncos, to Decker's point, like they didn't have any design run stuff schemed up because it was still the 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 Herbert game plan. And then also they were down by so much it was just like drop back. They sit in prevent, yeah. which you know you're probably not going to run a ton in that situation anyway. Now, now when you're going to be facing the full full bore of the Raiders' pass rush, you might get rattled a little bit. You're going to take off way more uh, than you would normally. So uh, it is just a smash spot for Easton Stick and the Russians. <clears throat> and I, it's um, being in the FCS. He's not in the typical database I look at for college stats, but. Just looking, eyeballing the stats and comparing the yard. You gotta go to Wikipedia. <laughs> well, the only place I, I, I was it. looking for game logs because what I was gonna say is I was really just gonna go after the angle, like how often did he throw for more than 200 yards in a game? And by average, not, it doesn't look like he was doing that a lot. And so, yeah, leg legs will be in. I, to me, the Easton Stick rushing ladder. Oh, so you good. have to play it. I I would also let, let's just take it a step for, for uh, further. However. You can play touchdowns. Okay. Two so the touchdown ladder, Sean. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I, I figured you would have the rush. Well, you're jumping well, ahead so. to my DJ. Oh, 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 okay. Well, I would, I, I would suggest <laughs> laddering that. Uh, we'll save prices. I don't want to ruin the reveal, it is, but it is a big. Price. I would, I would. This is, and, and I don't want to also ruin the the first touchdowns, which we're about to get to. But I would say, actually, I'll just, I'll explain what I'm going to do during the first touchdown. But Easton Stick rushing ladder, you have to play there. He's going to get. I I'm worried this the prop is going to be just too high. Hmm. I'm worried that they're going to set it at like 32 and a half yards. Okay. Um well yeah, d double feel free to check in once they release that price, but uh still optimistic. All right, we got first touchdown yeah. bets. We got Dgens yeah. only. Of course, uh Hall of Fame bets if you haven't signed up over there, does make research for these player props way easier and you get 50% off your first month. Just go to hofbets.com or download the Hall of Fame bets app. Use the promo code SGPN. If you're watching on YouTube, um, you see these uh, the green and red, perfect for identifying strong and weak legs of your parlays. I know uh, Decker's a, a big DFS guy. This is actually pretty good for DFS as well because you can see, like, hey, how many games does uh, Quentin Johnson have over 28 and a half yards? You can go back. Uh, they help you project the value there. HOFBets.com. Again, 50% off your first month. Try it. I think you'll like it. Promo code SGPN. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit HOFBets.com. Decker, first touchdown. What do you like here for the uh, Raiders and the Chargers? Yeah, I spoiled that a little bit, uh, but yeah, it's Quentin Johnson. I mean, that's, yeah. th that's just a solid one. And for the Raiders, Sean, you hit it on the head with, with Mayer, you know. Yep. I would, I mean, to go safe, it's Jacobs. We've already gone over that, but 
I mean, Aiden O'Connell rushing touchdown. You know, yeah. let's let's put it all up in a big, nice package. Combine <laughs> all of what we said. Why not? Aiden O'Connell had a rushing touchdown versus the Chargers. The, yeah. the in his first start. Yep. You know, that's the that's the way I'm kind of seeing the game going. So that, I, I mean, to pick between those two. If Jacobs isn't healthy, why not go O'Connell rushing touchdown? Yeah, and you know these these thirty to one, twenty to ones you can sprinkle. I'm gonna repeat a lot that uh, Decker just had. Michael Mayer's twenty to one, love that. Uh, Easton Stick, we're obviously gonna play him mm. thirty five to one. Aiden O'Connell's also thirty five to one, and then our boy QJ Quentin Johnson twenty two to one. I I a lot of these are kind of playing off the same guys, but I do think there's some good value here in these in these oh. prices because. What's eating up the the chalk is your Devonte Adams, your uh, Josh Jacobs, that kind of stuff. And if you, I uh, there is something to be said of if you think Josh Jacobs is a little more banged up than maybe he's giving on. Um, maybe there is some value in a Zamir White or some of these the other backup running back uh, because the prices haven't adjusted quite they yet. Have. Oh, they have. It's ridiculous, and I think this is part of what's making the entire market interesting. You have uh, Jacobs, so uh, I'm staring at uh, DK now. But five to one for Jacobs, six to one for Adams, Eckler six to one, yeah. Zamir White six fifty, oh, Amir, wow, okay. Amir Abdullah seven fifty. Wow. Okay, then yeah, yeah okay, forget wow. that. Keenan Allen seven fifty, and Jacoby Myers nine fifty, and then it jumps up to Everett at fourteen to one, then then Mayer at twenty to one. So, so yeah, you have this massive stack at the top, and it's it's pushed the middle class down. And it's made the system so easy to play because you're getting every you're getting the quarterbacks like you guys just mentioned. Yep. Um. So again, all all four of my uh, plays are thirty five to one. The defenses and the quarterbacks are all thirty five to yes, one. Sir. I don't know. I can if I can remember a time where you could get both quarterbacks at thirty five to one, especially when one of them had seventeen touchdowns in their <laughs> senior year in college. Uh, that's insane. But also the defense is being thirty five to one. What what is this? Th these are uh, uh, you're someone making their first start, and Aiden O'Connell, someone who hasn't exactly looked like an NFL starter, and you're getting thirty five to one. The no touchdown price is twenty two to one, and the defenses are thirty five to one. They're asleep at the wheel, Sean. <laughs> They're drunk. And I was devastated watching Miami in prime time score a first touchdown on the defense. Oh. I got cute with that one. I gave out. <laughs> yeah, some for a Will fucking Levis, River Creek. Will crack. Levis hater ride, and that was right in your wheel. Uh, I we're we're. Uh, we're, I, I'm saying it right now. My bad. We were wrong yeah. about Will Levis. That dude is a fucking dude. He's oh, fun to watch. I'll tell you that's that. That's a hell game. of a win. <laughs> I mean, we mentioned yeah. the stat on uh, last night when we did the bull pick show, but two they, don't lose the bad teams usually. They they had the uh, like second lowest uh, expected win probability in the next gen stats era for a team that won. Because they were down what uh, fourteen points with like three minutes left, it was bonkers. Uh, I really didn't. Uh, them pulling uh, that out of their ass was insane. Un, it's un, yeah, it's hard to even discuss. So of course, uh, my DJ's only play keeping it simple. Easton Stick anytime touchdown, eleven to one, and then two touchdowns, one thirty to one. Easton Stick has that game in him. If you recall, uh, Kenny Pickett when he, I think he came in. Uh, in relief in his first game, he had two rushing touchdowns. So, you know, guys making their first start or the first time at seeing a bunch of game action, very, very doable. Did DeVito have a rushing touchdown uh, last night, Ryan? He got stopped at like, oh, the, just yeah, the one. The one he, extended, he extended, almost got it in. But I'm saying, like, those are the situations. These guys are, look at, look at DeVito. He had 10 carries last night. You know, game before, it's like five, one, four, four. They the adrenaline starts pumping on these primetime games, and that's going to cause them to run even more than they previously did. So, uh, just all over the Easton Stick rushing angle, this is a gift. Decker, yeah, what and do they're you encouraged to run. Like you said, they don't have anything to lose. He's played two games in four years. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, well, run all over the place. Devito kind of talked about this. He's like, "I'm living in the moment." I'm, yeah, and he he specifically talked about the slide. Hey, he kind of had like a moment of like, why am I sliding? Yes. This is, the, the, I'm not going to, this is not a 10 year career. Like, let it go. Yeah. Decker, what do you got for a, uh, a crazy parlay? Hashtag I'm going to give a, <laughs> I'll, I'll give out a weird one. Cause it involves the, the, uh, the over under under 34. I know it's so goddamn low, <laughs> All right. but 
these two defenses just they give up chunks. I joke that the Chargers defense is a brand is a bend and break defense, but they've they've both been playing I do like that line. well. And these, like I said, don't make it too complicated. Under thirty four, these teams aren't scoring the last few weeks. Um, so Crosby sacks, Eckler receptions. Remember that. I I, I don't know where, where are they giving it now at five some five five receptions. You know. Whatever it is, take it over. Keenan Allen is a safe play, you know. That's four in a D Gen. Oh parlay. yeah. Is that too much for a same game? I usually don't what, what? do that. Is that too much? No. No, it's oh, never too much. You watch football Thank with you. us every weekend. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I know. I usually don't do four on the same game because if one's done, you're like, uh, eh, whatever. All right. So let me let me try <laughs> and uh I don't know, Ryan, can we get a price on that? We'll we'll reveal the price uh on the uh on our next show, on the pick show, because so you yeah. have Crosby sacks under right. thirty four. Wait, Eckler. let's just build it. Let's just build it. What are we yeah. doing? Okay. What are we doing here? I'll build let's it on it. the fly right okay. now. Uh, oh wait, we might not have. I couldn't find some of these. Yeah, we don't have the stat. Yeah, we will uh, release a price. So under thirty four, Crosby yep. sacks, Eckler receptions, and Keenan Allen. Did you say yards? Decker? Over yeah. seventy one yards. Just because yeah. I haven't thrown that out yet. Just, just for the steady play. Plus, he's always fun to root for. He's already set a franchise franchise record, hundred eight catches. Games. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. So seventy one yards. It's tough to go catches. I mean, I would just go yards with him. But, yeah. yeah. All right. And and maybe he gets involved a little down the field. I mean, that's the other thing. That's why he also got a you know Easton sticks passing yards one ninety. It's like he's got check down stuff to Eckler. He's got easy stuff to. Keenan Allen. I, I think, yeah, I think there's going to be, yeah, I I'm still, I, I agree with almost all your takes Decker. Although I do think under 34 is, is a bit low. I still think there's going to be a little bit more yeah, scoring. We disagree on that you. one. And here's like, another thing about eats and sick. He's got really big targets. I mean, you think about you're coming in as a backup. Tom yeah. Telesco only drafts these big guys, you Start know, he, he, yeah, he's got these big targets, man. So, you know, he's got a lot of, check down options. I, I hate to say that, but you know, the way that Herbert's kind of been relying on that, but as a backup quarterback, he does have a lot of options. It is. It is to your point. It is kind of like a great situation uh, for a backup quarterback to come in, especially one that wants to, that we think is going to run the ball a decent amount. Uh, yeah. So Easton stick all over it. Kramer, what's your, uh, what's your DJ only? All right. So <clears throat> We're gonna de- debut something brand new here. Oh wow! Yep, it's called uh, the first, last, both, any, many. <laughs> Easton first, Stick. First, last, both. I already any, told many. you. Yeah, the first, last, both, any, many. Okay. Easton Stick to score <laughs> first. <laughs> yeah. In the game is thirty-five to one. Okay. If you want to play the first for the Chargers, it's not out yet, but it will probably be somewhere in the fifteen to twenty to one range. We're gonna play the last touchdown in the game, hmm. forty to one. Okay. We're gonna play the anytime eleven to one. Which does that does that impact wow. the uh, odds throwing that in? No, no, we're not part. This is not an actual parlay. Oh, okay. I'm, this is a these con- are all this, si- it's sim- all of these are probably priced north of what Decker's parlay will get you. Okay, it, single bets, and I'm not like we're scaling right right now. The anytime is eleven to one, which you should bet all of this stuff right now, guaranteed when people wake up and figure out this guy's a runner. Yeah, let's go two touchdowns, hundred thirty to one. Yes, you called that out. Three touchdowns. Oh, it's which breaking the system. The shock that I, <laughs> uh, DraftKings wasn't offering this. I had to go look in <laughs> far away places. Six hundred to one, oh my and God. The, to score in both halves, one hundred and fifty to one. Wow. So, the way I probably structure this is we'll go uh, maybe eh, something like. Uh, a quarter unit on the anytime, or uh, let's do a unit on the anytime. We'll do a quarter unit first, last, and then we'll uh, we'll chop up the rest on the two, three, and both. Okay. Wow. Great unit played. Uh, Easton, get the stick. Easton Sean, if Easton stick. Let's stick. go. Now I'm pumped for the game. You got me. <laughs> yeah, good Deckers, no, you guys fired got up. me pumped for Easton stick. Why not? Let's go. <laughs> and when the rushing yards come out, we'll, the, we'll build some parlays around. 
yardage, maybe a yardage, uh, rushing yardage with rushing touchdown scaffolding Ooh. loading. But I mean, if he scores two touchdowns, Sean, we might be four hundred one millionaires. Four hundred one k millionaires. <laughs> um, yeah, stay tuned to the pick show. We'll we'll give out um, some extended oh. uh, plays here on this uh, Raiders Chargers. We game. need a, we need a Photoshop. Of the fire track, the fire truck stick with Easton stick on. Yes. It. Oh, stick stick <laughs> stick on stick. Let's go. How do you not play the stick with stick? <laughs> yeah, it's it's right there. Decker, <laughs> thank you. Uh, Yo. Thank you for calling into the show. Where can uh, where can people check you out? You're on the X, right? Yeah, man, I'm on X. I got my name, Justin Decker. Still still on the X, sticking with it. Love it. Find <laughs> me for uh, you know, angry tweets about the Chargers. You know, yeah. I was gonna say, Decker loves pro us. Eastern stick content. <laughs> Talking about uh, yeah, Antonio I, Gates going into the Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah. congrats oh, to go. Philip Rivers on his tenth child. <laughs> now, his his, he's his almost th- he almost has a flag football team. One more, give us one more, Philip. Well, he just plays quarterback, right? He's That's he's true. he's he's automatic oh, he's quarterback. To. Okay, I just we retweeted. Uh, I just retweeted <laughs> Justin Decker's last tweet. Because it was, uh, it's Sunday. Don't forget to drink water. And I, I felt like I did. I was <laughs> drinking too much yeah, beer and whiskey, I and I got dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> that, that should be my weekly reminder. I got to put it out in the universe because it's just projection. It's just for myself. Yeah, yeah. You know? it's a good reminder. Appreciate that. Appreciate you, Decker. <laughs> Uh, it, we would be, uh, it would be a crime if we did not get you to close out the show with a fight song of your Chargers. To get Chargers Nation excited for this Charger Raiders Thursday night football Let's match. Let's go East and stick, baby. We're coming your way. We're going to dazzle you with our play. San Diego, Super Chargers, charge. Fire Staley. Let's go. <laughs> I like the updated version. Uh, uh, let's make sure we clip that immediately yeah. and get it out there. <laughs> rally, gonna, rally the troops. Not going to top that. Thank Got you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second of the money green. He's Ryan. Especially if you're eating that pretzel crust, you got to hydrate. Kramer, let <laughs> it ride.